Mm -hmm. even, even to define diversity in the way that it's being defined is, it's not only technically incorrect, I do believe that it's racist and misogynist, mm -hmm. or sexist, not misogynist. And the reason for that is that, like, there are different... <laughs> you can break people up into groups in various ways, and so in, uh, one of the consequences of breaking them up in some ways is that you break them up in ways so that there's a difference between group A and group B. There's an actual difference. Maybe it's a difference in wealth, or who knows, like, because it depends on how you break them up. But the scientific evidence on this is clear as well. Even if you take the relatively large differences that exist between some groups, so here's an example, there's actually quite a large difference between men and women in terms of what their intrinsic interests are. This is something James Damore tried to point out and was pilloried for it. But the, the evidence is very strong that, on average, women are more interested in people and, on average, men are more interested in things. But, and that's a fairly large difference as far as those sorts of differences go. But there's still more overlap between men and women than there are differences. And so the idea that you get diversity by selecting a cross-group identity is technically wrong because there's more diversity within any group than there is between any two groups. It's wrong. It's wrong. And then, but it's worse than that, it's morally wrong because you're making the assumption that, the old racist assumption, that the group defines the content of the spirit. It's like, there isn't a more racist claim than that. And there's no, not a more sexist claim than that, that I know what you're like because I know something about your external features. It's like, how the hell did we ever get to the place where we thought that had something to do with diversity? It's, it's, it's anti-diversity in the most profound way. It's absolutely insulting to a person who regards himself or herself as an individual to be judged in that manner and to be constantly harangued for bigotry, for opposing the evil trinity of equity, diversity, and inclusivity. It's, 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 a, it's a kind of... In, it's a miracle of inversion that that can even be the case. And I would say... We need to know how to identify the radical leftists, let's say, and separate them from the liberals. And liberals are very bad at that. They're very bad at doing that. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say, here, those three words, if you hear people mouth those words, equity, diversity, inclusivity, you know, you know who you're dealing with. And you should step away from that. Because it's, a, it's not acceptable. It's, ma it's a mask of virtue. That's it. And underneath it is something that's truly awful. And, so, and it's incumbent on liberal types to start to draw a line between their classic liberal beliefs and these terrible postmodern neo-Marxist ideas that, that, have, like, that have a pedigree of genocide behind them. So...